Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and continuing on with my birthday goodies. Um, I have a lot of items here that I wanted to share with you. Um, these are items that I picked up for myself. Um, the items that I received as gifts from friends and family, I'm not going to show those. Those are a little bit more personal to me and you know, I just enjoy showing you the things that I bought for myself. So I hope that you guys understand that and without rambling on too much, let's begin the video. So, um, I have a fragrance here that I purchased before my birthday. Um, I didn't get a chance to share this, share this with you guys. Um, I think I left it out of my fragrance video. Nevertheless, this started my obsession. And of course, the fragrance that I'm talking about is from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, Paris. And I picked up the fragrance in Baccarat Rouge 540. And you guys, Okay, let me just, okay, so this is what the box looks like, it's very simple, but it has like this chandelier on the sides and it has KK on the top for um, Kirk Dijon. So you guys, let's open this. Alright, so the item comes in this uh, pull box, okay, and when you open it up, um, the fragrance is in there like this and it also has a booklet somewhere. I don't know where I stashed that but yeah the booklet is in there and you guys let me just take it out so this is what the fragrance bottle looks like it's so gorgeous um, very simple but it has like this red um, sticker or tag on the front and if you look um, from behind you can see um, the chandeliers on uh, behind the sticker and it has this beautiful gold top which is um, very heavy and substantial and you guys can see I've used quite a bit um, of this fragrance but you guys this is absolutely amazing I definitely recommend that you guys check this out now this fragrance is um, it's very it's floral but woody it has amber it has jasmine um, it has like this pine like a pine note to it like the fir like tree um, so it's fresh it's floral it's woody all at the same time and it's magnificent you guys I definitely recommend that you guys check this out it's very pricey um, you guys can check out the price but I'm telling you it's worth it um, and this is a perfume so when you spray it on I don't recommend that you spray it on clothes although you can but um, because it's so concentrated it's like almost has like an oil feel to it so it lasts all day and if you don't even take a shower I'm sure you'll be able to smell it the next day you guys this thing is strong without being overpowering and like choking it's very beautiful um, I get so many compliments with this fragrance you guys I'm not kidding you if you are um, you know looking to try like a Francis Kirk de Jean fragrance I believe that this would definitely um, be like a hit for you um, but of course I recommend that you try it out first try to get samples or stop by the counter but you guys this will definitely be worth it I get so many compliments people want me to write the name down show them where I where um, they can purchase it I mean absolutely beautiful um, so I think I had my mom pick this one up for me I gave her the money um, when she went to Germany and she purchased it at my favorite perfumery in um, Germany which is Albrecht you guys know I talk about Albrecht uh, so many times um, but yeah so I wanted to pick it up there and again you save a, quite a bit um, you know by purchasing it in euros so anyway um, this is very um, beautiful I would say this is more of a cold weather fragrance although you can get away with it in the spring or I mean whenever you feel like as long as it makes you happy but um, you know I definitely recommend this as like a holiday um, cold weather scent but I love this one so so much so I mean I can't say anything else about this fragrance I've already rambled on way too much so yeah definitely try that so that started my obsession 
And so um, while I was in Canada, I was at the Eaton Center and I think I was in, it was also Saks, yes, Saks. And of course, I had to stop by the Maison Francis Perkishan um, counter. This is my little shopping bag that I um, got, you guys. Oh my god. So I got so many samples, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So as I told you, I tried to film this video before, so my packaging is kind of wonky, but it came wrapped up like this. Alright, you guys. So this is what the box looks like. I went there trying to get another big bottle like um, like this one, but I couldn't decide. Um, I was so enamored with this fragrance. I I just I knew the the all the other fragrances in the line would be amazing. And once I got there, it was so hard for me to choose. Now I was stuck between um, Oud Silk Mood and also. Um, Feminine Pluriel and I also liked Amorous. I mean the list goes on. So I went ahead and picked up um, the fragrance wardrobe um, from Maison Francis Cartesian and this is what the box looks like. So let's open it up. Alright, and it's in another box which looks like this. And I'll go ahead and open it up. Alright, so the top is off, and then it has this little um, pamphlet in the front, which is super cute, and it just shows you all the fragrances that comes in the box. Alright, and this is what it looks like, you guys. So um, I think these are like 11 mLs each, and I thought that was worth it um, to try to get... Um, you know to figure out which ones I love um, so yeah this was really really expensive but I definitely think that it's worth it um, so uh, they have all the fragrance here listed so I'll just go through them and show you the ones that are in here so let's start here so of course this is Oud Silk Mood it is an oriental woody floral and I absolutely love this so so much I actually have a little sample here that I got online um, from purchasing um, what was it another fragrance and I've been trying to use this and you guys like I've been using this for a long time and look how much I have left like this thing is so concentrated it has the same consistency almost like a oil um, so it's very potent so I just use one spritz of this and I'm done and I get so many compliments on this one too and as I said I'm leaning more towards that one but we'll see so yeah this is a very beautiful um, oriental wood floral fragrance so the next one here is Baccarat Rouge 540 which I already have in the large size so I may go ahead and give that one away to um, my mom because she likes it too so we'll see or I might just keep it in um, my purse but we'll see about that and then the third one here is a la rose which i hear so much about um, a lot of people tend to go for that one so um let me just make sure yeah a la rose so i'll see i like it it's very ladylike and it's a really pretty scent i would say and this one is um this one is seen as a woody floral um fragrance so right up my alley all right so the next fragrance here is feminine pluriel and you guys i love this one so so much it's like a chipra floral oh my gosh i i think i'm also in love with that one all right and then the next one here is amorous femme i also love this one it's very it's like a luminous woody floral um do you sense a trend here anyway <laughs> um, so yeah it is described as a luminous woody floral and then the other fragrance here is aqua celestia uh, I can't remember how this one smells but um, it's supposed to be like a musky floral citrus 
I'm not so much into citruses, but we'll see. Maybe the musk and the floral will, you know, may, I hope that the citrus scent is not too much in it. So yeah. Um, and then the other one is Aquavite, um, Aquavite, and that is a musky woody citrus as well. I've also heard a lot about that one, so I can't wait to use it. And then the last one here is Aqua Universalis, and this one is also a musky floral citrus. So you guys, those are eight fragrances that I have to test out. Um, as, I, as you can see, I'm already leaning towards a few of them, but I cannot wait to try this whole set to see um, what my next bottle will be. And the next thing I want to purchase is the carrier for it because these don't come with a cover, so I'll definitely um, uh, invest in that travel size um, carrier for them. Um, so yeah, I'm so in love with this brand already, um, this house, and I cannot wait to explore it some more. But yeah, if you're like me and you're into this um, house and you want to try them, this is a, a really good way to do it instead of spending like $300 on a whole bottle and not knowing what the others are like, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I spent a lot of time on this and I'm trying not to make this video too long. Alright guys, let's move on. So the next place that I went to was Holt Renfrew and this was really close to the hotel that I was staying at so I think I went there every single day I went to Holt Renfrew. So um, each time I went there I picked up something, um, whether it was for me or for someone else. But um, the first place that I stopped by was at the Byredo counter. You guys, I'm falling in love with Byredo. So, um, I noticed that they had the candles there and I wanted to try them because I'm always buying Diptyque. So I wanted to try a candle from Byredo. So this is what the box looks like. I already took the plastic wrapping off. So um, I hope that you guys can see this. So um, I picked up the candle in Bohemia. And of course there were so many others that I wanted like cotton poplin and carousel. Oh my God, carousel is such a pretty happy scent. Um, I think that will be my next purchase. But um, at this time, um, I was really um, in love with the scent um, Bohemia. So this is what the box looks like. So let's open it up. And this is what the candle looks like. This is the container, you guys. So I picked up the 240 gram candle in Bohemia, and I love the black, um, the black container with the white label. It's just so simplistic and beautiful. And you guys, it comes with a little cover on top, and the wax is also black. And I love that. You guys, this is a very beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, so let me just read the notes to you guys. So this, um, the notes are a Papanox, rum. In the heart, it has geranium, labdanum, and rosemary. And on the base, it has moss, sandalwood, and vanilla. The sandalwood and vanilla and the rum are very strong in this. And oh my gosh you guys it just has that woodiness to it that i love so much and oh i love this i picked up a fragrance and um this scent is very popular um from byredo but in the candle form so they had the candle previously and then they came out with the fragrance and you guys i heard so much about the um the candle that i really wanted to buy it and it does smell absolutely amazing but when i saw that they had the fragrance i had to get it so this is what it looks like this is a box and of course it is bibliothèque from byredo and i took the sleeve off and i just really love the box it's so beautiful um but yeah this is what the packaging looks like and you guys this is the bottle beautiful very very beautiful i just love it and now i think i have three of their fragrances but you guys oh this is so so beautiful 
So guys, let me read the notes to you. So the top notes are peach and plum. In the heart of this fragrance, it has peony and violet. And the base notes are leather, patchouli, and vanilla. And you know I'm all about that leather. That leather gets me all the time. And vanilla, this is so beautiful. Oh, so I guess the inspiration behind this fragrance was like um, is a um, library um, with books, of course, maybe old books, um, leather binded uh, books. But you guys, this is so beautiful. I definitely recommend that you guys try this out if you're into leather. Um, but the notes are beautiful. As I said, peach, plum, peony, violet, leather, patchouli, and vanilla. You cannot go wrong. So I definitely had to pick this one up. Alright guys, so as you can tell from my Instagram pictures, I had to stop by Sugafina. This is my first time um, getting Sugafina, but it was definitely worth it. How beautiful is this box? It just says happy birthday, um, and I love the color of the insides. But you guys, these are almost gone. <laughs> they are almost gone. I should be ashamed of myself. Um, but I picked up um, a Butt First Rosé, and these are... Um, it, it's in the shape of roses. I don't think that you'll be able to see that. I am also picked up Parisian pineapples, which are my absolute favorites. As you can see, it's almost gone. And then I picked up champagne beers. And then I also got rosé all day. So yeah, um, of course, I love rosé, so I had to do that. So yeah, so I have one more item that I wanted to share with you. So I've always wanted to try this brand. It is called Nukes, and it is Rev de Mil and it is a ultra nourishing lip balm so i've always wanted to try this every time i go to germany i said that i will get them um get something from the brand and i never did so this time i couldn't pass it up they actually had an offer in um shoppers drug mart for like a three dollars off so i definitely cashed in and this is what it looks like. It has a citrusy smell to it, but it is very thick and it looks like honey, um, especially the honey that I use. I like to use the Bright Simer honey from Germany. It's like this color and very thick and sugary. I love that kind of honey. So this is what it reminds me of. I can't wait to try this. I'm always getting lip balms, especially if they're thick and moisturizing. So yeah, this again, it's from Nukes and it is called Rev de all right you guys so the next items I purchased from Sephora when I came back home and so the first two items that I picked up is from Sol Janeiro and the first item is the Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel and this is what it looks like you guys this thing is a little bit pricey but I had to it smells amazing oh it's so beautiful i love this so so much so it says it's a pistachio caramel um fragrance so you guys i definitely had to pick it up even though it was pricey but i mean come on it was my birthday week so i got that and then the next item i had to pick up was the brazilian crush body fragrance mist and this is also pistachio caramel fragrance too and i love it so so much so I picked up the big size and spring is around the corner I mean I just you can use this whenever but this will be absolutely beautiful in the spring and summertime so oh, that smell is it gets me all the time so yeah I picked up this one and I think this is like a 8.1 fluid ounces so yeah, so I thought these would pair well together. I wanted to get the lotion or in the jar, but it doesn't really do anything for my skin as far as moisturizing. It smells amazing though, but um, it didn't really moisturize my skin. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick up these two so I can pair them together. 
Alright, so the next item that I picked up from Sephora is from Marc Jacobs and it is the Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation with Broad Spectrum and Sunscreen SPF 25. So this is the newest foundation from Marc Jacobs and I wanted to give it a try because I picked up the last one that he came out with but that one just wasn't really good for me. It was a little the undertones were wrong and it, it came off a little bit ashy on my skin um, and if I went darker it just did not match it just wasn't a good match um, unfortunately um, that's one of the foundations that I have um, but I don't really use it a lot so anyway um, I saw this and I was really interested because of the size and when I saw the shades I said I had to go out and try it so I picked up mine in deep Y500 and this is what it looks like you guys this is a perfect match for me um, it is more of a sheer to light coverage which I love so much because I can use this for work and then use my um, Giorgio Armani or any of my other heavier foundations for when I um, you know when I want to go out and have a long really long lasting um, look but this one is more for everyday as I said it's sheer it's just really it has like this glow to it and it's beautiful so you guys should definitely check this out um, I love the shade range and as I said mine is in deep Y500 and this you get 32 mls like which is 1.08 fluid ounces which is much more than the standard one fluid ounce so again this is Marc Jacobs shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation so guys the last item that I picked up for myself for my birthday it doesn't even belong in this haul but hey I'm gonna show it to you anyway and I picked up a sneakers from Vans and these are the old school lights and it has the suede and the canvas and it is in black and white so I uh, I have a few vans but um, I really wanted to get a black and white one that I can use every day um, I didn't realize that these weren't laced up but I'm gonna show it to you anyway because it's much cuter when it's all laced up but these are what they look like and I really wanted to get the pro ones but they were so heavy and I love the, the look of the light ones better they're more comfortable and um, just very light I felt like I had nothing on um, the pros were really nice because they were cushioned and everything but it just had this heavy feeling to it so um, I decided to go with the light of course as I said these are the old-school um, light bands and I really like them so much um, they have this beautiful like um, like a rosy uh, pink color that I want to pick up they didn't have my size at the store that I went to but I'll definitely either order it online or check out another van store but these are my vans old school lights and they're in black and white and they're just like for every day you know what I mean especially in the summer these will be nice because they're breathable they're light and I just really love the look of them they're so so cute so guys um, that ends my really really long birthday haul but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions leave them in the bar below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Macaholic22 and until next time bye guys